Hi, welcome. How do you do? Now it is time for another short example of application of the method of Lagrange on determined multipliers. Consider a block that slides down an incline. The block has mass m and there is no friction. I want to use this new method to show that the normal force is the expected mg cosine of theta. Because the block moves along the incline, I will rotate my coordinates. Instead of using Cartesian coordinates x and y as horizontal and vertical, I will use Cartesian coordinates u and v oriented along the direction of motion and perpendicular to that one. I need to write the old coordinates in terms of the new ones. This is in fact just a rotation which can be written using the matrix. Now I need to write the constraint, which in this case is that the block is moving along the u axis and not there is no motion in the v axis. So I can write f equal to v minus c equal to zero, where c is a constant. This constraint equation says that the coordinate v is constant. Now I can write the Lagrangian. Be careful as I have to write it for both coordinates u and v, even though I know there is a constraint. But remember that the constraint is applied right after the Lagrange equations. First, the kinetic energy, one half of m u dot square plus v dot square. Now the potential energy, m g y. But I now write y in terms of u and v. Time to apply Lagrange equations for u and v. When it comes to Lagrange multipliers, because the constraint only depends on v, there will only be one multiplier in the direction of the coordinate v. Now I apply the constraint, so v two dots is zero. and get these two equations. One of them is the equation of motion, that the acceleration is g sine of theta, and the other one, the constraint in the v direction, which is the normal force, which is mg cosine of theta, as we learned a long time ago in kindergarten. May the Lagrangian be with you.